You know what? <laughs> Today I'm going to tell you a cool story, bro, about books. I'm going to talk about some things that I find annoying slash interesting about books. I'm going to start with... I'm just using this as an example. I am not saying anything against the book. I am not saying anything against the author. I haven't finished it, but I'm so sure it's wonderful. Um, anyway, I'm using the Journey of the End of the Whale as an example of one thing that bugs me so much about books. This. When you put on the back a claim for the author. When I pick up a book in a bookstore, I want to be able to read the blurb on the back. I don't want to have to open it and read it on the inside. Mostly because when I'm in a bookstore, I'm generally holding something else like my phone or my coffee and I don't have two hands to do it with. So it just makes life difficult and then I don't even read it because I can't. One of the other things that doesn't make sense to me is when books, because these are the ones I have with me. Oh, that, that's not it. But, I'm sorry. Books that have movie covers. I don't understand. Does it improve sales that much to have the books with movie covers? Like, yes, I own the movie cover, but I also own the non-movie cover. That annoys me like crazy. I don't understand what the difference is. I think I bought that because it was cheaper. Maybe that's it. It's cheaper. Whoa. But, okay, before you judge me, my favourite books are also like The Great Gatsby and Hunt Darkness. I love Hunt Darkness, it's an amazing book. Joseph Conrad is an excellent writer. I don't understand why there is a wholly up to date, I found this in my house and I don't understand why it is in existence, a wholly up to date the official rules to card games. Why is this a thing? Just put the, a card with the instructions on it. Like, I didn't know that many card games. I do like though, that you could just fill your bookshelf with these and trick people into thinking that you just have all vintage books and they're all just instructions for games. That, I don't mind that. I think that is actually hilarious. Be curious as to why covers always have people in friggin' cowboy hats standing in the outback. Why? Why is it always the outback? Just because we're in Australia? I don't get it. As with the young adult fiction with the girl on the front. I don't understand what the random chick in the dress has to do with anything. I don't understand. I'll still buy it, but I don't get it. Also found <clears throat> this one. Autobiographies. Now I don't have many autobiographies because I find it difficult to read them, to be honest. I, I try, but I do find it hard. Why is it always an epic picture on the front? I'm assuming if you have an autobiography you already have a pretty epic life because I mean I'm not going to write an autobiography what would be the point and who would read it. Cookbooks. Why does everything look so delicious? Look at that. Look at those tomatoes. Look how delicious they look. I have made them and they do not look that good. They taste amazing, but they don't look. They taste amazing. Have you got any page in here? Look at that. I don't even know what that is, and that looks delicious. Now I want to cook. Damn it. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed me rambling on about things that annoy me about books slash the books that I had in my vicinity. Um, anyway, have a good day, night, time, zone, year, I don't really know. Bye!